You know, if you're invested in an EV company or a battery company or in lithium, it's a little bit alarming to see that when you put, when you actually ask ChatGPT or AI, Microsoft's AI, or you know, all of those, Google's version, when you ask them all, what's the, what is gonna be the dominant battery technology within 10 years from now? And they come up and they say, uh, it's gonna be sodium. You kind of think to yourself, hang on a minute, am I invested in the right technology? Why is artificial intelligence saying this? Why will sodium ion batteries replace lithium according to the geniuses of the universe who are obviously trillions of times smarter than I am? Well, this might be the reason. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers, guys. Great to have you. 20,000 new subscribers over the past month, I think. And guys, really, what you need to know is this. Over the last three and a half years, I've published six and a half thousand videos. I probably read more articles than most of you combined. No, not true really, but I do read a lot on this, on investing, on battery technology. So if you'd like to comment in the comments, make sure you do know what you're talking about because sometimes some people don't and it kind of looks a bit odd. And one of those things that a lot of people don't really know what they're talking about is sodium ion batteries. Now, the reason we're not already using sodium ion batteries in a lot of electric cars today is simply because the cost of lithium crashed. It literally cra crashed, I mean, in a very big way. So the biggest battery company in the world who said that their new sodium ion batteries would be 30% cheaper than lithium ion phosphate, they decided to kind of put that project on the back burner. Now, they are manufacturing sodium ion batteries, just not massive on a massive, massive scale. That said, the world's first large-scale battery energy storage system, as in, you know, a battery that can power a city, has now been installed. And sodium ion batteries are beginning to take off. However, energy density of sodium ion batteries is a problem. Energy density is probably around 10 to 20% lower than lithium ion phosphate. Not really good enough for good EVs, you know, not really good enough to give you enough range. But that could be about to change. Now, an Australian company has developed a sodium ion battery with an energy density of well over 200 watt hours per kilogram. And I made a video on that about two weeks ago. However, sodium ion batteries have now hit a staggering 458 watt hours per kilogram. That is a much higher energy density than any battery pack or any battery cells that you can buy in electric cars today. Even significantly higher than semi-solid state batteries. Does this mean? sodium ion batteries are going to truly displace lithium? Well, I'm not so sure, but here are the details. Researchers have developed a new type of material that could make sodium ion batteries more efficient, much more energy dense, and therefore enable them to truly disrupt lithium batteries. Developed by an international team of interdisciplinary researchers, including the Sanipa Research Laboratory at the University of Houston, this material could boost the energy performance of sodium batteries, paving the way for a more sustainable and affordable energy future. Now, why is the future more sustainable with sodium? Well, sodium is one of the most abundant elements on the face of the earth, and you don't really have to mine for it. You can just collect it. It's actually pretty simple. Researchers have highlighted that the new material, sodium vanadium phosphate, with the chemical formula NAXV2 or NAXV2, PO4, Three, improves sodium ion battery performance by increasing the energy density, the amount of energy stored per kilogram by more than 15%. So without doing anything to the battery, you can increase the energy density simply by using this sort of better form of sodium, sodium vanadium phosphate. With a high energy density of 458 watt hours per kilogram compared to the 396 watt hours per kilogram in uh, traditional sodium ion batteries, this material brings sodium technology closer to competing with lithium ion batteries. Now, I should point out, yes, it's true, this is not at the cell level or the pack level, 458 watt hours per kilogram. But if you combine this with newer sodium battery technology, which is enabling 200 watt hours per kilogram at the cell level, and then you simply give it this new version of sodium, this would theoretically increase the energy density in those batteries by 15%, which is actually a pretty big number. Then 
it looks like sodium ion batteries could leapfrog lithium ion phosphate, which is what AI has been predicting. Robert Welsh, the Assistant Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering at UH and lead researcher at the Kanapa Kanipa Lab, stated that sodium is nearly 50 times cheaper than lithium. 50 times cheaper and can even be harvested from seawater, making it a much more sustainable option for large scale energy storage. Sodium ion batteries, he said, could be cheaper and easier to produce, helping reduce reliance on lithium and making battery technology more accessible worldwide. The researchers created a battery prototype using the new material, Nax V2, demonstrating significant energy storage improvements. Nax V2, part of a group called Na Super Ionic Conductors, is designed to let sodium ions move smoothly in and out of the battery during charging and discharging. And one of the big benefits of these batteries is they can potentially last for up to 50 years from reports that I've read. The material has a unique way of handling sodium, allowing it to work as a single phase system. This means it remains stable as it releases or takes in sodium ions. And this allows the NAS NASICON to remain stable during charging and discharging while delivering a continuous voltage of 3.7 volts versus sodium metal higher than the 3.37 volts in existing materials, according to researchers. Researchers also claim that while this difference may seem small, it significantly increases the battery's energy density or how much energy it can store for its weight. The key to its efficiency is vanadium, which can exist in multiple stable states, allowing it to hold and release more energy. The continuous voltage change is a key feature. It means the battery can perform more efficiently without compromising the electrode stability. That's a game changer for sodium ion technology. Researchers say that the implications of this work extend beyond sodium ion batteries. The synthesis method used to create Nax V2 could be applied to other materials with similar chemistries, opening new possibilities for advanced energy storage technologies that could in turn impact everything from more affordable, sustainable batteries to power our devices to help us transition to a cleaner energy future. Realistically, this to me sounds like fantastic news. It's not some company saying, hey, we have a miracle battery. Look, it's amazing. Look at the energy density. Basically, it's a combination of scientists who've got together and said, you know what? All we need to do is use sodium in a different form and it will give it a 15% energy boost to existing sodium batteries, making them a much more viable pro proposition, not just for energy storage, but also for electric cars. Caniper stated that the researcher's goal is to find clean, sustainable solutions for energy storage. It highlighted that this material shows that sodium ion batteries can meet the high energy demands of modern technology while being cost-effective and environmentally friendly. Guys, I will have some sodium ion batteries being installed at my house here next year by a maverick new Australian, car, new Australian battery company who claim that their sodium batteries have quite a high energy density. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll post some videos and show you the operation of those new sodium batteries. I think sodium ion batteries will take a huge percentage of the future battery market. The exact number, I've got no idea, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments.